The film is an adaptation of a book of a very good friend of mine, mm -hmm. Emmanuel Bernheim. I worked with her many times as a script doctor and um, we are very close friends and uh, sadly she died mm -hmm. some years ago and uh, she had written a book, Tout s'est bien passé, about her experience with her father. And when the book was published, uh, she proposed me to adapt it. And at this time I didn't feel able and maybe I didn't want <laughs> to to adapt it because maybe it was too far away for me or because it was too much personal, you know, it was too much her story. So I, I didn't want to keep it for me. <laughs> and uh, I said to her, sorry, not, not this time. And after her death some years ago, I read again the book and I had the feeling it was the right moment because, because of my experience of life, my experience of mourning, mm. the fact I'm older, yeah. I have uh, some people die around me. I had the feeling to better understand, and maybe it was a way for me to go back to Emmanuel. You know, to to share our experience, to know better what she she she, she felt when she lived all these things mm. with her father. So it was the mm. right moment, and uh, I had the feeling it was maybe the right moment to propose a film to Sophie Marceau with an actress I like a lot and I had the feeling she could be perfect for this kind of part and uh, so I sent her the book before the process of writing the script and she loved the story so I began the script with her in mind which is always better you know for a director to have already the image of your lead character. For me it's a film about intimacy and I want to share a difficult experience and to let the freedom to each one to identify to that story and to have his own opinion because personally I don't know what I would do in this situation. I'm happy not to be in front of this uh, dilemma, do you say that? Yeah. And uh, so I, I let people free, I ask questions, you know, it's not a political film for me. It's a film about questions, mm -hmm. a film which uh, give you the opportunity to, to experience uh, this, this drama. And at the same time, it's a feel on the side of life. It's about death, of course, but the paradox of this story is that this man who wants to die loves life. And it's because he loves so much life that he wants to die. And that was the idea, you know, I wanted to share with the audience. It's because you love life that you want to die in dignity. This with dignity and, uh, and actually he loved the story and uh, he wanted to be involved in this story so he made many research about uh, stroke mm. and, um, and we had a lot of discussions, readings and we had something amazing. We had the real tape of Emmanuel shooting a father and it was, uh, it was so, so moving for us to watch this, uh, this last images of his father who say exactly what he wants. And uh, so it was a good uh, material for André, you know, to, to not to make an imitation, but to have a, a great inspiration in his way of talking and his sense of humor, all these kind of things. And, um, and I think for André it was a dream because as an actor you have so many complex and different feelings to express with this character because he's mean, he's cruel, he's funny, he's charming, you know, all this and you you go through all these different feelings during the film and for him uh, we had a lot of fun actually to, with, with this part, you know, if you have not money it's impossible, you have to die uh, in uh, bad conditions and uh, it's not uh, fair I think, that's why I think the law should change and maybe it will happen in France but uh, for the moment there are a lot of conversations, discussions, a lot of polemic mm. and I think, uh, I don't know how is it in other countries but uh, you, you, you have the feeling in France the, the religion, the Catholic religion is so important and uh, like in Spain, like in Italy, it's a, it's a, big, uh, it's a big deal so there are many yeah. problems but I think the, the film doesn't judge, the film doesn't say it's good, it's bad, you know, it gives you the freedom to think mm. what you want. But at the end, I think 
I hope the, the film will help to people to, to understand how it can be difficult for a family to live such an experience without, without the help of doctor, of the state, of the law. I, I don't yeah. have a message. Mm. I, don't, I don't want to make a politic movie, but I want to give the opportunity to, to share strong feelings and complex emotions and, uh, and give you the opportunity to think about yourself. What would I do in such situation mm. as a as a son, as a daughter, as a parent, if, it, if I have a stroke, what do I do if I'm in this uh, physical situation? I don't know. I don't want to know actually <laughs> yet, but uh, one day it will maybe happen, so we have to think about it. <laughs> Tu te rends compte ce qu'on est en train de faire pour lui, là Quand tu as pleuré.